welcome to Rehash. On the internet, where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. I'm Decrepit Sundu 3, and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Decrepit Sundu 3 who gave us our intro for today. Uh, if you'd like to do the same, just click down there in the description, and uh, you can go ahead and you can give us your intro. Yeah, now I know a few days ago when we made a video, we actually featured him in a comment, and I couldn't say his name. And you did? Yeah. So that makes me feel really bad. You shouldn't, because you're the <laughs> only one who remembers that. <laughs> Alright, so you had a newsy type whatever? I do have a newsy type whatever. Um, I only have one, I think you have two, so you go first. Alright, so I want to talk to you guys about a new side-scrolling game that isn't being shoved down everybody's throats as pre-orders, or they're not begging for people to buy the game. It's just a fun down-to-earth with a down-to-earth development team. It just makes awesome games. That's what cool. they do. Uh, mine uh, has to do with a woman who got a note saying that her garden was re relentlessly gay, <laughs> and yeah. uh, she's decided to fight back by going to crowdfunding. Yeah. And you had a no? And I wanted to talk to you guys about and even you uh, a huge like uh, you can't even fathom how huge the slide is. You go like 50 feet up in the air like Superman, and you just fall down. And you do like cool stuff. You like flip and make funny faces. And you just do crazy stuff. Sounds fun. So, since you have three and I have two, that means you go first, good sir. Three and two? You mean two and one? That, I can't math. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, so like I said earlier, I wanted to show you a, a new side-scrolling game that was presented at E3. Now, I'm not showing this to you in hopes you're going to go buy it or promote it or anything. The reason I'm showing this to you is because, for once, this is just a down-to-earth development team who decided to go to E3 and, and present their game. This isn't like a game that's like explosions and cars and, and crazy things happening. It's just an awesome concept to a game, a, a beautiful storyline. It looks amazing. What's wrong with explosions and cars? No, 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 no nothing's wrong with it. No. But it, it's just a, it's a new approach, right? Oh. It's a new approach. Right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed about this is the developer who came out and, and introduced the clip of the gameplay, he spoke from the heart. Um, he had this wonderful, heart-touching story about how this came to be, and how the game was designed and how it evolved, and I I don't know, I, without even seeing the gameplay, I was like, okay, I kind of want to check this game out. Like, <laughs> You know, he's pulling on my heartstrings here. Yeah. No, he really did. You know, he, he was like super nervous. He was shaking the whole time as he was explaining it. You almost felt bad for the guy. If I could pre-order the game now, I definitely would. Okay, so my thing. It was brought to my attention via somebody just sending me a random Skype message that there was a woman who had taken to GoFundMe with an issue that uh, that she was having. Uh, she had put out a rainbow colored, like a night glow thing with the mason jars. Right. Going back to your yeah, thing mason jars. Yeah, mason jars. <laughs> yeah. So um, she had made this thing, and it was rainbow colored. And uh, someone had put a note on her door saying that um, she needed to tone down her garden because it was relentlessly gay. And, um, you know, of course, uh, the person in the note brought religion into it and, and all kinds of things. And um, the woman, of course, now faced with this... Uh, this Ongoing issue. Well, yeah. this issue, she's like, okay, well, do I take it down? Do I continue beautifying my garden? What do I do? So she takes to uh, GoFundMe and she says, she asks for $5,000 to make her garden even more fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, or, if you will, fabulous. Yeah. And the internet has exploded with support. She initially only asked for $5,000. She's now up to like $41,000. $41,000. And so that is amazing to me. Um, yeah. It's just cool to see how the community can get behind projects. You know, I'd say, hey, look, here, here's my money. And they have $41,000. That's insane. Like, wow. So I, I wanted to talk to you about a huge super slide that you can go down. Before we go into that, I actually wanted to ask Anthony about your sunburn. I, I was going to ask you about that before we started recording. So you, but I you, you, you had to bring it up. I had to. I believe it or I not, it. believe it or not, fat people do things too. Um, I actually um, went with our boss Mirko and uh, Jake from support, or not support, uh, recruiting, and uh, we went and uh, had a good time this weekend, uh, whitewater rafting. Um, we uh, did some other stuff. There was a jolly time had by all. Yeah, so is your skin hurt at all? I mean, it's like... Um, once you get past the fact that it feels like it's about to fall off, you're fine! Oh, God, it looks like it hurts so much. So speaking of which, I wanted to show you the huge super slide that I was talking about earlier, where you can go down it and just do crazy stuff. Front flips, back flips, side flips. 
funny faces, you name it. Dogs cool. even go down at animals. Cool. It's super cool. All I can think of about this is where are the fat people? Where are the ugly people? <laughs> like, where are my people who are like a four and below on the attractiveness no. scale? Like, you know, I feel like I am not represented at all in, in this I video. Mean, you're pretty high up there, man. You're, you're probably like 9.5, 99. You're pretty high up there. I'm just gonna put this here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, what did you think? No, I liked it. You know, the thing about it, like, really, really, really most to me is like at 19 seconds, you can see a doll going down it. That's awesome. Like, that dog is the best dog ever. I want that dog. But I I'd like to do it. If I was given the opportunity to go down a huge slide, do crazy stuff, and record it, I definitely would. I mean, it it's all about memories, and I I'd love to have something to look back on and say, hey, you know, I flew 50 foot in the air and landed in the uh, water. Um, okay. Uh, so now we get to talk about, uh, Decrepit Sundu 3. You say his name right every time. Decrepit Sundu 3, who was, uh, who introduced us. Uh, he is an awesome guy. He actually just joined Freedom a week ago. Uh, a week ago. <laughs> a week ago. Um, he's just started a Far Cry 3 Let's Play. Uh, and he also routinely sit, does sit-down vlogs where he talks about his life, his struggles, and he also um, talks about uh, his struggles with being bipolar. Uh, which, uh, I don't know how many people out there in the Freedom family know, but I actually suffer from not being bipolar, but I suffer pretty heavily from depression. Um, and I know sometimes how therapeutic it can be to talk about that, to get it out, and uh, also to get feedback from people. So um, definitely go pay him some uh, some and respect, some love. He just joined a week ago. About yeah. a week ago. <laughs> that is so awesome. He just joined a week ago. He's already been featured in the comment, and on top of that, he gets shouted about. I mean, that's super cool. The guy puts a lot of effort into his content. He does Far Cry 3 tutorials. He does in real life content. It'd mean the world to him. If I were you, go to his just channel. Just go spam his yeah. comments with ha hashtag rehash. rehash. Just do it. Just all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Make him beg for, uh, for mercy. Yeah. I was going to say forgiveness, but <laughs> mercy. I don't know what he's done wrong. All right. That brings us to the end of the episode. No. Almost. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. Now we talk about your comments. First comment belongs to Karema Nicole. Uh, who says, good day, are there any thresholds for freedom? Like, do you have to make any certain amount of money, or are you making faces again? No, I don't make faces. Okay. I don't. Um, or, 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 I can't... Anyways, the comments up on screen, you read that. I. Uh, the answer is no. Um, freedom is uh, the, actually the network that makes this entire show and everything on this channel possible. They do not uh, require you to have any minimum stuffs. Nothing. You just join and be a part of the family. Yep. Uh, and then you had a thingy. Yep, so coming from Dragzo. That's a cool name. So he says, if you could change anything about a video game, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good one. Personally? Yeah. I would add another four hours worth of gameplay to the four. Four, 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 two. Four, four hundred. Four hundred thousand million. Four million. Four hundred billion? I could even beat Portal, so. Yeah, I, I beat the single player, and then I beat the multiplayer, and then I was still sitting there, like, I was rocking back and forth. DLC, DLC, DLC. Exactly. <laughs> so Which is why I was so excited about the, the portal the Lego, thing the Nintendo, Lego yeah. yeah. So I wanted to ask you, the Freedom Family, and along with Draxo, if you could change anything about a video game, what would it be? No, 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 hang on. Before you start scrolling down and on top of your keyboards, put the, the, put, the, put the name of the game first, okay? Because if you guys are saying, you know, I want to put this in the game, I have no idea what game you're talking about. That way we don't end up with people saying, Hey, I would add Wildebeest, and we're like, into what game? Like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's like an erasing game? We need to know. So, you know, put the name of the game first, and then what you would change about it. I'm very interested to see what Freedom Family, what games you guys play, and what your, you know, your cons are about the game. All right, well, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Don't forget to be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.